vector space. In this video, I will show you how to prove any given set as a vector space or not. How to check if you are given with any question, like if you have to prove it, is it a vector space or not? Then for that purpose, you must know the main definition of vector space. And what it is, basically in the vector space, you are given with five important axioms. If all these five important axioms are satisfied for that set, then it means that the given set is your vector space. That topic is important for the students that study the course of linear algebra and it is also important for the students of the BSc that are studying the mathematical method book that is taken from the chapter number 6. Let F be a field and V a non-empty set then V is called a vector space. F is your field and V is a non-empty set from that field. Then V is called your vector space over the given field if the following axioms hold. What are those important axioms? The first one is V is abelian group under addition. The given set, whatever the given set is given to you, you have to first of all prove that it is an abelian group under addition. If any of the axioms fail, for proving it as a billion group, then you will not proceed further and you will stop it here and you will say like the given set is not a vector space. If all the axioms of the abelian group are satisfied, then you will move on to the second axiom. That is, you will take from your given space two non-empty sets from the main set V. Add those vectors and multiply it with a scalar. That will be equals to the individual multiplication of scalar with that vector and after multiplication you have to add them. The third axiom is you have two scalars A and B from your given field. Pick any two scalars from your given field, add those scalars and multiply it with one vector. That will be equals to individually multiplication of these scalars with these vectors and then adding them. The fourth axiom is you have two scalars A and B. First of all multiply your B scalar with V and the answer will be multiplied with A. That will be equals to multiplication of both the scalars and then multiplication with the vector. The fifth axiom is the multiplicative identity. The one that is the multiplicative identity, if you multiply it with the vector, that will give you the same vector. If all these five axioms hold, then this means that given space is a vector space. Now, what you have to show in order to show it is an abelian group or not, you, you need to show the five important things. The first one is the addition is closed. First axiom to prove it as a billion group is addition is closed. What does this mean? If you take any two vectors from the given vector space, from the given set, you add them up. If the addition answer also lie in this capital V, it means the addition is closed. The second axiom is commutative property. If the commutative property holds, then this means that you have to proceed further for the third axiom for the abelian group. The third axiom is associative property. You will take three vectors and use the associative property in it. Now the associative property must hold in order to show it as an abelian group. The fourth property is the additive identity. Additive identity. For the additive identity there exists zero belonging to capital V such that zero plus u any vector equals u plus 0 is equals to u. So additive identity must also hold in it. The last property is for additive inverse. For additive inverse, for each u belonging to capital V, there exists its negative in the same set such that if you add them up, you will get 0 in your answer. So if all these five axioms are satisfied, then you will say like it is an abelian group and you will proceed further for the rest of the axioms. So let's move on to the example for this vector space. The example is show that the set R2 is a vector space. 
Now, for R2, you must know what is R2. The R2 is a set that consists of the ordered pairs of this form, where xy belongs to your real number, set of real numbers. The xy, these elements are belonging to the set of real numbers, and R2 is a set that consists of all the ordered pairs of this form. If you are given with R3, like you have to show that set R3 is a vector space, then the set R3 will be equals to the set of the forms that has the ordered pairs of the form of this, such that x, y, and z individually belongs to the set of real numbers, and up to so on. So here you have to prove that the set R2 is a vector space. For that purpose, you have to show your first axiom, that is v is an abelian group. And for that purpose, you have to show all these axioms, and then we'll proceed further. So, for the first one, the first property that you have to show is additive abelian group. The first thing that you have to show is additive abelian group. And for that, the first thing that you should have to show is in that addition is closed. The first thing that you have to show in additive abelian group. Now, for showing the addition is closed, you have to consider two vectors. Let's suppose, let u and v belongs to R2. Such that, let u is equals to xy and v is equals to, let's suppose, a, b. Or you can say like, x prime y prime a b i will use it for the constants now addition is closed it means if you add both the vectors that will the answer will fall again in r2 so u plus v will be x y plus x prime y prime now add their consecutive terms you will get first term with the first term second term with the second term now you observe it is again the same ordered pair type this one. So it means that belongs to R2. So we can say like R2 is closed under addition. Now the, for the abelian group the second thing that you have to show is commutative property. For the commutative property let's take the same vectors u and v, you know that u here is xy and v is x prime y prime. It means if you add them up in this manner, that will be xy plus x prime y prime. Now add the consecutive terms, you will get x plus x prime, y plus y prime. Now you can switch their positions. You know that this, this term basically belongs to set of real numbers. And you know that set of real numbers, if we take any numbers from it, we can write it like 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2. Because set of real numbers, in set of real numbers, the commutative property holds. So now we can write it like x prime plus x and this term as y prime plus y. Now separate it. The first terms will be separated like this, plus sign, and the second terms. And you see that this is v plus u. So it means the commutative property holds. Now move on to the third property that is the associative property. For the associative property you need three vectors. For the associative property you need three vectors. Let's name them. For example, I am taking u1 as xy, u2 as x prime y prime and u3 as x double prime y double prime. Now, what is your associative property? In your associative property, you have to show that u plus v plus w. Now, let's solve this. First of all, write u1. Let's suppose it is u1, u2, and u3. Now, it will be first of all, write u1. Now, plus the main bracket, this one, u2 plus u3. 
that is x prime y prime plus x double prime y double prime. This will be equals to x y plus. Now uh, add them up. This will give you x prime plus x double prime, y prime plus y double prime. Now you can add both of them. This will be x plus x prime plus x double prime, y plus y prime plus y double prime. Now you have to you have to change it into u1 plus u2 addition plus u3. So it means you can write it like separate this one. You can write it like x plus x prime comma y plus y prime and x double prime y double prime. You can separate it like this. Now this term can be written as x y plus x prime y prime like this plus x double prime y double prime and what it is it is basically your u1 plus u2 and plus u3 so you see the your associative property holds here now move on to the next property that is the additive identity for the additive identity additive identity you must have some zero vector here for all u equal x y from r to there exist a zero vector that is 0 0 and you know this is the same order pair from your r2 that is also belonging to r2 such that if you add them with the u vector you will get x y plus 0 0 that will again x y that is equals to u and if you change its position 0 vector plus u you will again get 0 u as well so it means your additive identity also hold in r2 now the last thing is and for proving the abelian group is additive inverse. Now for additive inverse, if a vector u is belonging to set of R2, then you know that minus x minus y also belongs to R2 because it is the same order pair. You can take the negative sign common that is x y belongs to R2. It means that is basically minus u belongs to R2. So if you add them up u plus minus u, you will get here zero vector. So your additive inverse also exists. So this implies that R2 is an abelian group under addition. Now you have your first axiom is proved for the Proving the vector space, now you, you had to move on to the next, third, second, third, fourth and fifth one. Now your second property is, what you have to prove, A times U plus W, V plus W equals A, V plus A, W. You have to show this property now. For that purpose, consider a vector, for example, uh, scalar for that scalar A is belonging to capital R because this is your main field. Now A is belonging to capital R you have to consider two vectors let V is equals to X Y and W is equals to X prime Y prime you can name any of them like U or U U1 U2 or any name you can give it any name. Now take this side left hand side A times V plus W this will be equals to A times V plus W. What will be V plus W? X plus X prime, Y plus Y prime. This will be equals to, now multiply A inside. This will be A times X plus X prime, comma, A times Y plus Y prime and the order pair close. What you have, what you have to use which property here to open it? Left distributive law. Now here use the left distributive law and multiply it inside like this. Now you can, since it is adding them, adding the terms, you can separate the terms. How you can separate them? Ax, Ay plus Ax prime, Ay prime. Now you see what it is? A times Xy plus A times X prime, Y prime. And what it is? It is Av 
plus a w. So if you observe your this second property is also satisfied here. Now move on to the third property. Now your a and b are any scalars from this your main field that is set of real numbers and your v vector is for example x y. Now uh, take this left hand side that is a plus b times v. That will be equals to a plus b times x y order pair. Now this constant will be multiplied individually with x and with y as well. So it will be written as a plus b x a plus b y. And this term will be equals to ax plus bx, ay plus by. Now, right using the right distributive property, you have opened it. It can be written as ax by plus bx by. ax ay plus bx by. Now, take common. It will be a times xy plus b common, b times xy. And you know very well what it is. It is av plus bv. So your again third property holds here. Now move on to the fourth one. For the fourth property you have to consider two scalars from your field, main field that is set of real numbers and let's this vector v as x, y that is belonging to basically your R2. Now a times b v that will be equals to a times b times x y so first of all multiply b inside this will be b x b y now multiply a inside this will be a times b x a times b y and you can write it like this is simple the uh, multiplication for the set of real numbers so you can just switch their places as a b times x a b times y now take this a b common and you will be left with x y so this is a b times v. So you again fourth property holds here. Now the last property is you have to show the multiplicative identity. 1 into v equals v. 1 belongs to set of real numbers and v is basically x y belonging to r2 that is your given set. Now 1 times v will be equals to 1 times x y that is 1 times x 1 times y that is x y. And that is equals to v. So you are again this fifth property satisfied. So you will say it like as R2 is satisfying all axioms of a vector space. The R2 therefore R2 is a vector space over the field of real numbers.